What? No. No. You know what? No. In fact, you can take this job and shut it. I've never actually said that to an employer. And I'm certainly not saying it to my current employer, but I could. And having that option is actually critical to capitalism. Oh, I retire. Have you ever gotten shoddy service or a lousy product? You walk out of the store saying, or if you're really polite, perhaps just thinking, some pretty nasty things like, screw that guy. Screw you guys, I'm going home. You certainly won't go back to that business. And by the way, you're probably gonna tell your friends and post a scathing review on Yelp. <gasps> Many people look at cheap products or bad service as evidence of greed or proof that the free market or business owners don't care about you or their customers. Everyone is just out to make a buck. But while the marketplace doesn't guarantee you perfection, it does offer you something invaluable, the right to say screw you to any business you want. It's ice cold. They gave me an ice, ice cold. cold slice. I give this a 0, 0.0. If enough people react the same way as you do, that business will fail. Or better yet, the company is forced to improve their products and services. Biggest improvement of all time, October 2018 to November 2020, from a 0, 0.0 to a 7.7. In fact, businesses going under is a big reason why capitalism is better and far more responsive than a government agency. Businesses, whether they want to or not, are forced to respond to dissatisfied customers or they go under. Contrast that with the government where you have little to zero choice. Have you ever spent hours at the DMV wondering why it was taking so long, only to get to the window and be told you are missing a document and so you need to go home, come back, wait in line again? Can I help you? Hi, my class is here on a field trip and I'm supposed to interview someone for a school project. You can wait at that table and someone will be here sometime. But aren't you here now? No. Have you ever thought about saying screw you to a government agency? How about the IRS? Even if you want to, you probably shouldn't. It's not like you can go to the competing DMV or social security office in order to get better service. Since you can only get the required service from the government agency, the government has all the power. Sure, feel free to complain, but that government employee will probably be able to say, screw you too, <laughs> and there really isn't much you can do about it, as you need to get that license or business form or social security check from that agency, and you don't have any other options. Having options is essential. It allows you to send signals, either favorable or unfavorable, to the people who are serving you. Take that away, and you're stuck with what you get. So the next time a business makes you angry, Use that anger to exert your power as a consumer, and then be happy that you live in a country where you can basically tell the most powerful businessmen you know to get bent. Although I'll bet you'll find yourself saying thank you more often than not, because unlike bureaucracies, business owners understand that they need you a lot more than you need them. I'm Nick Freitas, thank you for joining us on The Why Minutes, where every week we tackle a new issue, Ask the Why, in order to get to the bottom of the ideas, philosophies, and principles which shape our world. Please join us at thewhyminutes.com.